Standard is probably the only one that consistently beats Pauper events. I won the die roll I'm going to play first. Uh, this is a sick hand. We're going to keep this. It's against JP0822. So let's look him up. JP0822. Uh, looks like he is either Cloud Post or Delver. And looks like he is Storm Post. So, yeah, definitely not going to mulligan this against Storm Post. It has the early pressure with the Delver. I can force flip the Delver on Math Keep with a Brainstorm and proceed to win the game off of my flip delver. And I put two islands on. And I have all islands. That actually kind of sucks. Yeah, we're going to reveal a snap. And attack with the delver. Maybe. Yeah, par prophetic prism gets through. Unfortunately, not much I can do about the Prism. And actually, there's not much I can do about a Mole Drifter next turn either. So we're going to attack with the Delver. And I'm going to play out a Spire Golem too. Because, uh, once again, I can't answer a Mole Drifter anyway, and Spire Golem is going to be my only answer to a Mole Drifter. So he could get really punished here if he plays uh, like Cloud of Fairies and Mole Drifter or something, something along those lines. If he doesn't have a play here, then I'm actually in really good shape. Like if he doesn't have a board affecting play, I'm in really good shape. Okay, he's a preordain. It's not the worst for me. He can still cast a Cloud of Fairies to untap his island. Oh, damn. And cast a Mole Drifter, and then I then I'm up Shit's Creek without a paddle. Yep, I am up Shit's Creek without a paddle. Fissure for two. Okay. Well, it's not the worst. It's presumably he's targeting the Spire Golem too. Yeah, Spire Golem and Island. Okay. And I drew another Island, which fucking sucks. Um. Let's get the Delver back on the table and pass the turn. If he tries to fissure again, I'll just uh, Piracy Charm his Cloud of Fairies. If he has a Mold Drifter, I'm fucked. And 4C, okay. That's not a Mold Drifter. Good. Sunscape Familiar, okay. That's fine. We are going to bounce that to his hand, though. Make him recast it next turn, and then Piracy Charm his Cloud of Fairies. And hope the Delver flips again. Damn it. I keep getting fucking islands here. This is uh, not the way I want this round to go. Super flooded. So he can fissure me here, and there's nothing I can do about it if he does. Sunscape Familiar hits. I was really hoping to draw a counter spell there, but now it is what it is. Drifter. 
Yep, there it is. There's the mole drifter that I was so afraid of that I couldn't draw a damn counterspell for, and I still can't draw a counterspell for. So just draw another fucking Delver. Um, alright, well, let's bash with the Spire Golem. This is a really good hand that just drew nothing. Drew nothing but lands. So once again, I'm in Fissure range. gonna go off. Presumably this is Mally Fissure, or will be very soon. Huh? We'll attack the spiral in the least. And play a bear. Nope, no counter spells. He also now has the fissure. Well, that blows. We'll play that Spire Golem again.
Well, there's my first counterspell of the game. That's a spell stutter. That is completely worthless. I should have blocked the Seagate Oracle there, actually. Then I can play the Quicksand and save myself another turn, actually. No, no, I can't. Never mind. He played a Moldrifter anyway, so... I don't know why he's doing all this. He needs to just Fissure and kill me. But I guess if he wants to run up his clock time, that's fine by me. He's still running up his clock time. He should just pass the turn, knowing that he's got lethal on board. So, I didn't draw any counter spells. Basically, is what that game came down to. Um, so, for this guy, we bring in. Well, we take out Piracy Charms, take out Snaps, take out Nina's Grace, and we bring in Boomerangs, Deprives, uh, Fairy Trickery. Maybe I'll leave in pir two piracy charms or two snaps. Hmm. <coughs> Maybe I'll leave in a Una's Grace and just leave in a singleton snap. Yeah, snap is not very good, but I can snap like his uh, 
dudes back to his hand. His, uh, what are they called? The Sunscape Familiars. Alright, I do want to play first. Uh, well, this hand is really good with another land. Uh, I'm not going to mulligan. This is great. This is a super greedy keep. But we're going to keep it. Flip. Yay, he flipped. I didn't hit a second land, but he flipped at least. So I'm going to brainstorm, see if I can hit the second land now. Alright, good. I hit it. Um, we'll just put some Cloud the Fairies on top. Play an island, play a bear, and attack you. also worth noting that was a mistake. I shouldn't have put two clouds of fairies on top. I should have put a cloud and probably a quicksand on top. It's too late now though, so let's uh, attack. We'll cast two clouds of fairies. Pass the turn. I think with an exclude and a deprive in hand, I'm, I've got this game good. Definitely got it good now. He can play another. Uh, thing, like a, he plays another Glimmer Post, gains two life, but that's not all that bad because I just uh, exclude his Moldrifter play, or whatever his play is, or deprive it, and I win. Alright, that's getting excluded. I got a boomerang for my troubles. Okay. He snaps my Delver, which sucks. Now he plays a Moldrifter, I bet. Fuck. Man, can I call it or what? Alright, well, it's not the worst. Um, I'm just going to attack with bear. No blocks. Cool. Play Delver. We'll leave out Deprive. Come on. Play the Delver. I could boomerang his Chancery too. I think I'm going to do that. I don't think I'm going to boomerang his Chancery. That makes it where you can't play a Cloud of Fairies or anything of that nature and get back in the game. Although maybe you can if he plays a Cloud of Fairy and Moldrifter here. If I really regret the uh, Boomerang play. Alright, Prism, sure. And a familiar. Okay. So I'm not dead yet. <laughs> Boomerang, it's awesome. That's a sweet top deck. Um six not quite lethal. 
So we're going to boomerang his cloud post and attack with everything. He has to block the Delver here or die. Oh yeah, he has the Sunscape to block the bear. Whoops. Well, that sucks. So maybe boomerang was, boomeranging was the wrong play there. But I think I'm still in a good position. So we get Oracle, doesn't do it. Ugh, glimmer post. That's annoying. <laughs> Another CD Oracle. Well, he could still be in this game. He could very well still be in this game. All right. Well, hopefully that'll just shut him out of the game. So attack with the clouds. And he makes the cloud for cloud trade. Takes two, goes down to four. And I have spell start plus deprive. Spell starting anything he tries to do, then depriving anything else he tries to do. Uh, I don't think I'm going to spell start or seek an oracle, though. Spell starter cloud of fairies now. So if I get a ninja off the top, he dies. And he returns the glimmer post to his hand. Ah, uh, counterspell's a good draw. Ninja would have been a better draw, but counter spells a fine draw. So over here with the fairies, he goes down to one. He replays a corner post, gains two life, and I counter anything that uh, Cloud of Fairies or Mole Drifter. And he loses. Yes, Boomerang did ruin his tempo, that's why we have Boomerangs in the board. Uh, yeah, you can preordain.
ghostly flicker, I believe I will get... I think I'll counterspell the ghostly flicker. Alright, yep, you can see it's a game. Alright, so... Um, I don't think anything changes. That was fine. It did good. It did what it was supposed to do. Submit it as is. Snap could have been relevant there. I don't have anything else to bring in in place of Snap, so... Snap is fine. Alright, this looks like a uh, awesome hand. Force flip the Delver. And actually, I may not even do that now. Probably just play the Cloud of Fairies and leave open Spell Starter Protection. Alright, good. Delver flipped by, by himself anyway. Pass the turn. <clears throat> End of turn brainstorm. He might snap my Delver here, but that's okay. All right. Yep. That's fine. So we can just put um, Gush Island on top. And that flips the Delver again next turn. Replay the Delver, leaving open Counterspell and Spell Starter Protection. Mm, I'm going to let the Seagate Oracle go. Attack him for four, pass the turn. Cloud of Fairies, we're going to go ahead and probably just exclude you. Alright, he snaps the Delver. Again. which is unfortunate. <clears throat> but he's playing a very defensive game, so... It's probably pretty good for me.
if he's using his snaps defensively, then I'm in pretty good shape. Alright, so play out the Delver. I'm playing the Delver still. Alright. Um, attacking with the Fairy. No blocks, of course. We're gonna tap this island, and then we're gonna gush. We'll replay the island, and then brainstorm. Island and boomerang. Hmm. <clears throat> so I'm gonna put an island and a counter spell on top. And do I boomerang here? I don't think I do. Like Boomerang would ruin his tempo and make it where I only have to discard one card though. Hmm. Nah, I think I'm gonna leave open counterspell protection. If you cast a Mold Drifter, I'm pretty, pretty badly screwed. So I want to have mold, uh, mold Drifter protection. All right, there's the Mold Drifter. So we're gonna go ahead and counterspell that. Pretty glad I didn't boomerang now. Yep, we're gonna reveal the counter spell. Play the island and attack for four. Well, it's 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 about knowing your outs, I guess. Like his out to my play right now was Mole Drifter, so I wanted to make sure that he couldn't have that out. He still has the Mold Drifter out here. Alright, Seagate Oracle is not that worrisome. Cloud of Fairies is that worrisome now, so we're going to Spell Stutter it. So an island off the top. I can um, ninja here, but I don't think there's any reason to. Like he's just dead on board. Because I've got a counterspell and a spell stutter to 
kill any of his next plays. And I don't need the extra cards whenever my hand is full of counter spells. Uh, okay, he gains four, but that's not going to save him. Not with what I have on board. Mnemonic Wall. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and counterspell that dude. If he has a Muldrifter here, I can just boomerang the Muldrifter and win. Boomerang was really good last game, but uh, Boomerang's a very, it's a very niche, right? It's, sometimes it's just insanely good, and sometimes it's just like, meh, well, any, really any card would have been fine. And actually, Boomerang is still really good here, because it's uh, preventing his outs, right? Even if he casts a Muldrifter here, he, that's not an out. Now, Ghostly Flicker will get Spell Stuttered. Don't want him gaining life. I guess I could have just boomeranged Glimmer Post too, but it, this actually gives him lethal on board. Or gives me lethal on board, I should say. Not even counting the ninja. Okay, so he lets that happen. And I don't think he... yeah, he loses. Especially if he doesn't have another play. Alright, cool. So, two and one. And once again, we're the last 